Salbona, Molo, Dumela, Huimora. Good morning. I greet you, dear brothers in the Lord. It's my pleasure and privilege to be able to represent our regional VP for Africa South, Brigadier General Mahapi. Unfortunately, he could not be here for the conference. He sends his greetings and love. And uh, he's unfortunately had to remain behind in Lesotho because of the political instability in that country at the moment. And he and his team could not be here, unfortunately. But I'm representing him. And I'm pleased to give the presentation then for the Africa South region. So looking at our regional South region, we have, in fact, got eight countries represented uh, at the conference uh, and possibly a ninth. Is, is Zimbabwe here? I heard there was one man. <laughs> so countries represented here are Angola and Namibia, and we've got, of course, South Africa. And yes, please all stand. <laughs> South Africa, and then we've got Malawi, Mozambique, and then the islands of Madagascar, uh, Mauritius, and the Camors. So praise God for our region and these countries rep represented. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so that's the region. So Brigadier General Mahapi was the second VP that was um, appointed to uh, represent the region. It was our privilege then as the Africa South region to um, host the AMCF 2014 Global Interaction. We're so thankful for the support given by the principal support organizations and other partners in the gospel over the years. We give praise and thanks to the Lord. Looking at our milestones then for our region, going way back, and that's really for the warriors to see and look and uh, see how the Lord has blessed and, and, and uh, provided for us. We look at all these various regional conferences. Um, before... We had an Africa South and an Africa East and West. We were one Africa, and, and Charles Ammoning, in fact, was the president for that whole area. And then we became, became broken up into different regions. There's the first ever Table Mountaintop Interaction, the World Conference. So you can read the various um, milestones that have been experienced and we've been blessed by over the years. Of course, 2010 was, wow, South Africa... Southern Africa, you can host the World Conference, which later became the Global Interaction. And what a thrill to be given this opportunity to actually host it. And here we are today, right at the end of the conference, the Global Interaction, and we thank God for this wonderful opportunity. It will always be there as a big milestone in our hearts, the memories as we think back, all the people we met, the networking, the contacts, what a blessing. So we praise God for the warrior training. So many wonderful uh, opportunities came out of the preparation, the planning, the praying plan for the global interaction. We thank God for, for that. The MCF from Namibia was considered in 2012. Angola have been conducting mission trips to various Angolan states. And Nestor again, glory, hosting the global interaction. Here's just a series then of pictures of the Swaziland conference, which we had in 2011 um, in Mazzini. Missionaries play a big part in, uh, in what we do, and often it's nice to have missionaries involved in board, helping. They work in Namibia. That's Sayatomi in Angola. That's a picture taken at the hotel. Of course, there we teach the inductive Bible study, the conversational prayer, all the AMCF um, lessons, and we, and we build that into the conferences. Of 
We just want to focus in and give thanks for the support that we receive. Military Ministries International play a big role in supporting our region and Africa on a whole. We thank God for Colonel Josh McCabe and his team. And we uh, salute and thank God for the um, regional leaders that have been involved, Val and Gina Raja, and you can read the list there, and all the people that have played a, a role in supporting and will play a role. And there's Max and Eunice Mapondi, your newly appointed staff members. And we just see these special people that when we think of them, we are blessed as we remember the, as we're enjoying at the conference the blessings we received and experienced. So opportunities ahead, we're looking at radio and cell phones, the means of discipleship and outreach in our region. We had a meeting yesterday in this regard. We continue the warrior training, maybe TMTR, the con concept of battlefield tours that um, ACTS USA are using, we'd like to look at that as well. Safari, imagine going into game parks and, and uh, having fellowship around the fire and, and learning about the inductive Bible study and conversational prayer. We'll be looking at that. Close, closer cooperation between the uh, MCFs in the region. And, and then apply what we learn here. That's the big thing, to go out and actually do what we've learned and seen to do here at the global interaction. And of course, the chaplaincy is very important to us, and there's this opportunity to work with our chaplains very closely. So we have prayer requests. Especially pray for Brigadier General Mahapi. We, um, there's big in political, uh, there's political instability in the country between the police and the army, and here's a key role. The prime minister of the country actually held him back and said, you cannot go, you, your country comes first. And you're here, of course, have to acknowledge and, 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 and so stay behind. And you are, Mark, we not, one soldier once said to me, after you leave, nothing more will happen. Let this not be our story in our country, that we press on with what we've learned and that the soldiers continue to uh, be involved in the MCFs, um, reaching out into the country, discipling, as is the theme of the conference. And pray about Zimbabwe being um, constituted as well as an MCF. So to conclude then, isn't this, what, isn't this the seats 26 to 50 that we heard about yesterday? This is where that could be a tank or it could be an aircraft. And uh, there are men on there, there are women on there. And those are the men that we must be a sweet fragrance to, be a blessing to. And what we've learned at the global interaction, take the gospel to them, live it out there on the battlefield, on our ships, on our tanks, in our aircraft. Make a difference as the Lord gives us opportunity. Right there in the water with those guys, be strong and very courageous. Well, can we be there next to them and, be, and make a difference? So to conclude then, I love this verse. Let us consider, all of us, how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together. Well, we're not neglecting, we're all together here. As is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all more as you see the day drawing near. Be strong and very courageous. Can we, can we pray for South Africa? Father God, we lift up Brigadier General Mohapi to you and his family. We lift up the whole political situation and we ask, Lord, that you will protect them, that you will keep them safe, and that you will bring pre peace and reconciliation. We thank you, Lord, for the incredible blessing of warrior training, for the wonderful young people that have been with us throughout this conference, for all the people that have benefited. And we pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless this training, and this will grow and develop throughout Africa. We thank you, Lord, for the great privilege of hosting this conference and for the blessing that you have have given us. We thank you, Lord, for all the support that has been received by South Africa, by MMI, by the PSOs, and in particular by Colonel Joss McCabe and his team. We thank you, Lord, for the incredible possibilities of radio and cell phone and how this might be used as a method of discipleship. We pray, Lord, that all the new initiatives and ideas, like the battlefield trips, that these will, that one of the things that will come from this conference is we will all go back to our respective regions 
and copy ideas from each other, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you will bring reconciliation, peace, and a really strong bond between the chaplains and the military and the Christian fellowship. We ask all this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen.